Hayo, Konnichiwa, Konbangwa, welcome back to my channel Japan Enthusiast. And in this video, I will talk about my top 10 anime watch list of winter 2022. So 2021 nearly the end and there will be a new season in winter 2022. And actually in this list, I will also including the anime that aired in December 2021 because it will end on the um, about February or March 2022. And that's the reason why I think it's more proper to put the December anime into the winter 2022. And actually, winter 2022 consists of a lot of the continuation of the uh, season that already aired before. But I think um, in this list, you will be not um, found it very much. Uh, not so many in my list. And that maybe will surprise you. Uh, let's get straight to the list. Number 10, Tensai Oji no Akaji Kokka Saisei Jutsu. So, this anime is actually unique. The plot itself is somebody sells his own country. I mean, that, that sounds crazy, man. I believe this will be a good comedy uh, because it will never. It will never happen in real life. You you could sell your own country, I mean, because of the authorization that you have, you cannot sell a country. And that's the unique plot, uh, what makes me excited to watch it in winter 2022. And that's the reason why I put it on my number 10. Number 9. Sono Biske Dol wa Koi no Suru. And in this one, uh, actually, this anime is Seinen. Uh, and I believe uh, that's because it will be a little bit heavy. Uh, although I believe uh, there are not tags Seinen in this anime, but uh, this one is a little bit heavy in story uh, because it is about the slice of life, a romance. Uh, about a shot in and the introvert person uh, with her friends, the extrovert person. Uh, we could sur summarize that uh, in that um, words. And I think this will uh, what make some unique um, perspective of how both uh, personality um, see the world. And I'm looking forward to it. So, that's the reason why I put it on my number 9. Number 8. Sayuki Reload Zero. Okay, so this one is actually has a very, very little of people that are uh, waiting for it. And I actually was surprised by myself because uh, Sayuki Reload is actually one of the earliest anime that I watched when I was a kid. Uh, maybe in elementary school, I believe, or even before that. And uh, that's what makes me uh, looking forward to it because uh, it's been a very long time since the Sayuki um, even aired in the television or the online platform uh, although many people call it that um, this one is kind of gay uh, but I'm not really um, what realizing it because I was a kid so I just want to see this anime for the nostalgia factor and that's the reason why I put it on my number eight <laughs> Number 7, Shikakumon no Saikyo Kenja. Okay. Besides of the um, as continuation of another season or the new season of the already existing anime, uh, Winter 2022, 2022 is also full of the Isekai anime. And one of them is Shikakumon no Saikyo Kenja. But in this one, uh, the terms of isekai itself, uh, I mean, it's a little bit different because uh, usually somebody dead and then 
he or she reborn into another creatures. But in this one, the main characters um, actually kill himself. <laughs> I mean, he reborn himself, and that's what what's unique uh, for the plot or the um, early stage of the story itself. So looking forward to it. Uh, it's also um, animated by GC staff, which I believe will be a good animation, and that's the reason why I put it on my number seven. Number six, Sabikui Bisco. This one has, I think, the most interesting plot of all in this list because uh, it's about the post-apocalyptic Japan, and there are there are main characters that similarly looks like Natsu, I believe, a Natsu from the fairy tale, and he is known as the man eating mushroom, and. That's that's the only factor that I I think when I read the um, synopsis of this anime, I already got uh, attracted to it because it's very main and the mainstream, and I'm looking forward to it, and that's the reason why I put it on my number six. Number five, Orion. So, uh, Orion is actually um, also have a unique concept because oh, this one, uh, the bad guy, is uh, what? The bad guy is one that worship in this um, anime. I mean, uh, it's usually the good guy, but. This one is a bad guy. I mean, uh, if we want to look at other animes that have a similar vibe to it, maybe it is Dororo. It was Dororo. And I want to see another anime that have the Dororo concept. And then I found the Orion itself. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to it. And from the um, key animation i believe this will be a good anime and that's why i put it on my number five number four mahoka koko no retosei suiyoku hen okay um if you don't know me i actually simping for all of the mahoka koko no retose series uh, including this one so i believe that this is the pre-story before the mahoka koko no retose the first season one and um that's maybe i think helpful to us to better understand the situation and also the connection between uh Miyuki and also Tatsuya and that's the reason why I put it on my number four number three Karakai Jozo no Takagi san san <laughs> no, Karakai Jozo no Takagi san third season or three uh, it's actually um I think one of the best uh, rom-com slice of life kind of anime and I, I, I really like this anime, it's so wholesome on another level and I'm looking forward to the uh, third season uh, and you will see why I am uh, liking this anime. Just watch it, if you are haven't watched it. And that's the reason why I put it on my number three. Number two, Jojo no Kimiona Boken Part 6, Stone Ocean, or the Jojo Bizarre Adventure 6, Stone Ocean. This is actually the anime uh, that's including the ONA version, I mean the original network anime 
so it's not aired in uh, the television in Japan. And this anime is what? <laughs> I think everything in life is JoJo references. <laughs> Uh, I I believe this will be an, another meme about Jojo again uh, because of this one and part 6 is actually uh, my least favorites from the manga but I believe the anime itself will make it better and I'm looking forward to it uh, actually this one already aired now and because of that but uh, I, I believe that it's not supposed to be categorized as the fall 2021 anime but instead I put it on the winter 2022 anime and that's the reason why I put it on my number two on this list. Number one, Kimetsu no Yaiba Yu Kakuhen. Surprise right? Okay, maybe you will expect that I will put Shingeki no Kyojin the final season part 2? No, I am not a fan of Shingeki no Kyojin or Attack on Titan. I'm sorry, uh, but I am a fan of Kimetsu no Yaiba. Uh, and I believe that Yu Kaku Han, uh, co uh, when we uh, p uh, bring the uh, Mugen Resha Han as the references of the key animation for this Yu Kaku Han, Yukako Hen will be amazing. I believe in that. Uh, because UFO Table just bring the movie version into the series version that good. I mean, it's usually bad, but it's actually decent for the Mugen Resha Hen. And then the Yukako Hen is the next arc after that that never animated before. So the impact of the animation and the story itself will be larger or higher than the Mugen Resha Hen. So that's the reason why I put it on my number one or the first place. So do you agree with my list? Let me know in the comments below. Please like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, and share it to the people who also are Japan enthusiasts. And be sure to subscribe my channel to help me um, could monetize the channel because this man, this channel just got demonetized. <laughs> and thanks for watching. See you next time.